The symbol list feature allows you to include or exclude certain stocks from your scans. The software offers two places to do so, but the functionality is the same. You can go to the toolbar, select tools, and then symbol lists. Or create a symbol list directly in the symbol list tab of the config window of your scan. Since you can only delete symbol lists using the toolbar option, I will demonstrate how to create, edit and remove symbol lists here. Go to toolbar, select tools, and then symbol lists. On the top left hand side, you can see all the already existing symbol lists, and the number of symbols they contain. To create a new symbol list, select create new list, on the bottom right hand side. First, give your new list a name, then click OK. Your newly created list will now appear in the symbol list field. To quickly add or delete a single symbol, highlight the specific symbol list. Then enter the ticker in the symbol field and click Add or Delete. The symbol will be added to or removed from all the currently highlighted lists. To select more than one list at once, press the control key on your keyboard while selecting them with your mouse. The program will automatically remove duplicate symbols during addition. It will ignore the removal request, if the symbol does not exist in the symbol list. To add multiple symbols to your newly created symbol list, double click on your list to open it. This will take you to another window where you can enter the stock symbols. You can enter them manually by typing them in one by one or you can copy and paste symbols from any document. There is no limit to the number of symbols you can watch in a symbol list. The symbol should be added one line per symbol, in upper or lower case. You can also copy and paste symbols or entire symbol columns from your scans. By default, the entire row is highlighted when you select a column in the scan. Unchecking this option in the Options tab of the toolbar will enable you to highlight individual columns. To do this, first go to the toolbar, select Tools, Options, and then General. Here, uncheck Highlight Grid Row upon selection. Now, go to your scan and highlight the symbols you would like to add to your symbol list. Thereafter, Copy the data by using the Windows Copy command, pressing Ctrl and C on your keyboard. Now, go back to your newly created symbol list, and paste the symbols into it, using the Windows command, Ctrl and V, on your keyboard. The program will automatically remove duplicate symbols. In addition to manually adding stock symbols, you also have the option to upload a text file from your local PC by choosing, Load from File. If you would like to upload additional symbols to an already existing symbol list, choose the option, Insert from File, instead. This way, the symbols of your uploaded text file will be added to the existing symbol list, instead of overwriting them. To save your symbol list to your local PC, select the Save to File, option. Once you have added your symbols, hit OK. The program automatically will convert the symbols to the uppercase, remove duplicates and sort the list alphabetically. You can see, that your list now contains symbols. To edit this list, select the Edit List button, which will bring you back to the Symbol Entry window. To rename the list, select the Rename List button. To copy this list, select this option. Type the name of the new symbol list, and press the OK button to copy the list and populate it with the symbols from the currently selected lists. To delete this list, select the Delete List button. The Refresh from Server option, clears the cache, and reloads it with the symbol lists from the server. This operation is automatically performed upon application startup. Press this button to effect syncing, whenever you have made changes to your symbol lists. Now that we have our symbol list, we can go into our scan, 
to include, or exclude, the symbols it contains.